All right, uh, good evening. It's Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com, here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.33 in the evening on Tuesday, December 8th, 2020. We're going to go over the quakes that have hit, and s hit since our last forecast yesterday. Uh, first of all, 4.3 hit east of Tokyo in our uh, warning area there. 4.7 south of Costa Rica on the border of uh, Panama in our 85% risk area. Bullseye on that one. And then uh, we mentioned that the next uh, 12 hours uh, on the 8th of December, the risk would be shifting into El Salvador. And then there was a 4.4 in the 80% risk there. A 4.7 hit in Ecuador. And uh, we'll be talking about Peru later on. We're expecting a, a strong earthquake in uh, east central um, Peru uh, coming up as well. 4.7 hit in Ecuador in the 80% risk area. And a 4.8 west of Managua, Nicaragua in the 90% risk area. Expecting a strong earthquake off of Panama. And we'll talk about that in a minute as well. Uh, and if you want to follow along on the website, you can uh, see the maps uh, that I'm looking at as well. You can go over to quakeprediction.com and we're going to start off, uh, you can click on uh, San Francisco or Los Angeles and you'll see exactly what I'm seeing. First thing we want to mention is on uh, Friday, December 11th into Saturday, December 12th, expecting a strong earthquake northwest of Los Angeles, most likely near Santa Maria and then next likely near uh, Santa Barbara and then uh, also Northwest Los Angeles Basin. And so that is coming up on Friday evening into Saturday morning. Of course, it could hit before then or a little bit after that, most likely on Friday evening into Saturday morning. 6.0 to 6.5 earthquake is likely Northwest of Los Angeles or near uh, Santa Maria or Santa Barbara. This is how we expect it to, <clears throat> to uh, happen on uh, Friday. On Friday morning, expecting a 4.5 to 5.5 in western Nevada and down into uh, from Reno to Mena, Nevada and uh, east central California. Something of 4.5 to 5.5 in, in Friday morning, it looks like. <clears throat> and then by the evening, the, the large earthquake, 6.0 to 6.5 uh, from Santa Maria down to Los Angeles. All right, let's go look at uh, the Anchorage, Alaska. A 6.0 earthquake is possible on December 10th, uh, southwest of Anchorage near Kodiak Island. On December 10th, a strong earthquake is possible near Kodiak Island. And, and then in Chile, 4.5 earthquake is possible in either the 80% risk in the far north or the risk that is uh, southeast of uh, Santiago, and you can see that on the map. In Italy, uh, there's a risk of a 4.0 in the far, far northwest part of Italy in that 80 to 85% risk area there. And in Japan, very high risk in the far south where we can expect a 5.5 earthquake uh, south of Kumamoto and Miyazaki on the, um, was it the 10th? Yeah, the 9th into the 10th of December on that one. And then the, uh, the Philippines expecting a 6.0 earthquake east of Samar Island, S-A-M-A-R, Samar Island, on December 10th, just east of Samar Island, a 6.0 is possible on December 10th. And in uh, the Greece forecast, a 4.5 is likely in far eastern Greece into western Turkey. And in the Central America forecast, again, we had mentioned this earlier, expecting a 6.0 earthquake south of Panama and south of uh, Costa Rica on uh, December 10th. And the Peru-Ecuador forecast, expecting uh, also a strong earthquake on December 9th. 
in east central Peru, northeast of Lima, in east central Peru, a strong 6.0 earthquake is possible on uh, December 9th, which is coming up tomorrow. And in Indonesia, we had talked about this yesterday, 5.5 uh, is likely in the far northwest of uh, Sumatra, the island of Sumatra, northwest uh, Sumatra, 5.5 uh, is possible there. And then in Taiwan, a 4.0 to 4.5 earthquake is likely in the vicinity of Taiwan on uh, December 9th. And in the Caribbean forecast, you can click either on per, uh, Puerto Rico or the Caribbean forecast. Um, a 4.5 earthquake is possible in the Dominican Republic or in uh, Haiti or IT, I think they call it, Haiti. 85% risk there, so 4.5 is possible in either Haiti or Dominican Republic. Um, and then in the state of Washington, again, we mentioned this yesterday, looking for a 4.5 or larger in central Idaho or east central uh, Oregon. And last but not least, in uh, Turkey and in Cyprus and Syria, that forecast, uh, a 4.5. 0 to 4.5 is likely in the um, in that 75% risk area there in the map, which is uh, kind of central Turkey. All right, one more uh, thing before we leave here. We just want to remind you the uh, of the earthquake warning in the Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles, northwest Los Angeles, up into Santa Maria and Santa Barbara. It's a very serious situation, and uh, expecting. A very strong earthquake. Like I had mentioned yesterday, um, the Napa earthquake in August of 2014, uh, the risk level was up at a 10. I used different methods, different forecast models, but this forecast model was a 10, and that was a 6.0. And then the uh, earthquake in 1994 that hit in uh, Los Angeles, that was a 12. The risk level was a 12. The risk level on uh, coming up on Friday, uh, December 11th and December 12th, is at 22. So it's very high, expecting at least a 6.0 earthquake northwest of Los Angeles into uh, Santa Maria. Please warn your friends and family. Also, uh, please subscribe to our videos here at QuakePredictions.com. We really appreciate it. And uh, got a lot of followers out there on uh, Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, and we really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Have a great, safe week, and stay safe, especially on uh, Friday and Saturday and all those other warning areas around the world. We will keep you informed and keep you safe here at QuakePredictions.com and the Earthquake Channel. And we thank you so much for your support, and we'll talk to you tomorrow after the earthquakes. Thank you so much, and have a great week. Thank you.